Now, what we're going to do for today is really, really exciting. In fact, you know, I just met up with my bunch of students and we presented on five major crises. <laughs> five major crises that's coming. And how do you make money out of the crisis? There are plenty of opportunities. And this is exactly what I'm going to show you right here today. Now, before we get started, I want you to get really, really acquainted with the concept of Well Trilogy. And this is where I'm going to switch my screen right over here. Holy moly! This is our Well Trilogy right here. And right on the Well Trilogy, this is the entire spectrum of everything that we've designed in my own personal journey, past 20 years of investing, and moving forward to the next 10 years, a total 30 years time frame. How many years? Can you type into the Zoom chat right now and say, how many years? Hey, <laughs> I want to see you taking down notes right now. Hey, 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 how many years? Fire off away. Now, this is something that most of you are not getting used to. You know, when I go to classes, I will have my black book with me and my pen with me, and I'm going to start writing down important ideas. And today, I'm going to give you so many ideas. They are actionable. You're going to take action, and you're going to make money out of it. So I want to make sure you're taking ideas. At the same time, you're chatting away with me, all right? Because when you chat, you lock in those ideas into your memory. So this is really, really important. Okay, let's switch back over here. <laughs> now... I'm going to share with you about the whole origin of Wealth Trilogy. And this is really important in the context of where we are today, right now. And you know, I come from Singapore. I, I want you to know that officially we have declared tomorrow to be a lockdown. <laughs> oh, lockdown for the next one month. Holy moly. And how about our friends from all over different parts of the world? I'm sure you have your different stories to share with us. But I'm going to get you focused to today, all right? Really align with the thinking of wealth. And here we go. Right over here, what you're going to see is this. This is really, really amazing stuff. And on top of here, I want to give you a quick introduction myself. My name is Dr. Clement Chang. And I've been investing over the last 20 years. And you know what? I've taught over 50,000 students worldwide. And today, I got a very, very important message I want to share with you. And here's the message. At the beginning of my own journey, this is what I call the price of wisdom. Wow, I really love to study. <laughs> I graduated from Nanyang Technological University as a civil engineer. And can I have a show of hands on a video? Hey, how many of you today, you are engineer? Electrical, mechanical, uh, uh, civil? Computer engineering, chemical engineering, wave hey, wow! <laughs> Look at all the geeky people. <laughs> and for us as engineers, you know what? One plus one equals to two, it's factual. And that's how I'm trained. And after I completed my engineering degree, I went on to pursue my MBA. Wow, this is really mind-blowing. I did it with University of Louisville. That was the first time I wrote down my business plan and I launched my business out of the MBA class. And that started my entire entrepreneurial journey. Next, I also went to pursue a PhD at the University of Canberra, the capital of Australia. And finally today, you know what? Got my bachelor, master's, PhD. I'm still a student. <laughs> Can you believe it? Today, I'm a student at Harvard Business School under the OPM program. I'll be graduating in the year 2023. Now, putting all this together, I'm going to ask you a really critical question, and that is this. All this traditional tertiary education, do they teach us how to make money? Can you put it into the chat right now? <laughs> oh, do they teach you how to make money? Come on, fire answers away. I want to see answers. Away. Wow, I see him. I see Bay. I see Albert Christopher Suresh. Everyone's shouting away. No, 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 no. Clary Sir Vincent, I see you. Wow, big fat no. <laughs> and how come we are investing so much money into educating ourselves? This is the conundrum. Now, I think I'm a little bit qualified here to share with you the price of wisdom. Education is key. It gives us the foundation. But more importantly, out of today, I'm going to show you how you're going to connect 
the foundation of everything that you learned in the past. And we call it connecting the dots. And when you start connecting the dots, you're going to make sense and you're going to learn how to make money. And that's the price of wisdom. All right. So with this as an introduction, next thing I also want to show you, hey, I'm chasing after million dollar profits, not million dollar revenues. I'm talking about pure, pure profits. All right. Let's start from the top left quadrant. I'm showing you about home properties. How many of you here today, you own your own home? You bought a house. Wave your hands. I want to see all the homeowners right here. Wow, gorgeous, gorgeous, you know. And home ownership is one of the biggest investments you ever made in your life. I can tell you that. You know, I've invested in over like 12, 13, 14 different prime properties all through my years of journey in investing. But the metric that I chase after is called the million dollar profit. This is so important. That's the reason why in terms of investing into properties, the timing must be very precise because you are taking a bank mortgage loan. And that's the reason why over the last few years, the opportunity was gone and lost. But this year we spotted a small window and I went in to buy two properties, one of which is a penthouse. And we spotted this unique opportunity and that's the reason why the whole idea of connecting wealth trilogy is so important. Now, if you look on the top right hand quadrant, you're looking at stocks and options. Wow, stocks and options is the foundation. Let me share it to you directly. It is the foundation of every millionaire and billionaire on planet Earth. Can you please type in right now on the chat and say stocks is the foundation? Come on. <laughs> I want to see you firing away on the chat right here. Stocks is the foundation. Don't forget that. That's how most people out there make their riches. And I'm going to show you how do you going to make your riches out of stocks and options. There's a distinction between the two. And I've done, been there, done that. Chase after my million dollar profits I made out of it. Now look at the bottom left. That's digital businesses right now. And you know, unfortunately, with the announcement like a lockdown, holy moly, every restaurant owners out there, I really cry out for them. They are losing their money pants off. And that's the reason why in today's era, it is so important for you to get into the right business. And let me tell you what is the right business. It is a business in the forefront of technology, and right now for us, we are pursuing the business of artificial intelligence. This will be the king 10 years from now. So whatever you do today, you have to decide. The decision you make, what business you get into, are you going to be a king 10 years from now? If not, the answer is already so clear to you. Walk away from it. So I made my millions out of businesses as well. And finally on the bottom right, holy moly, this is not getting more and more exciting. This is called HODL Hang On For Dear Life Bitcoins. How many of you here today have Bitcoins in your wallet? Wave your hands. <laughs> oh my gosh, not that many of you. But today, I'm going to give you Bitcoins. How many of you like to receive Bitcoin? Can you fire off, say yes, I want to receive Bitcoin and document that as evidence. Yes, I want to receive Bitcoin today. I've been giving away Bitcoin every month since last year. That's my track record. I made my millions out of Bitcoin and I'm pleased to share with you as well. Just to get you started, open up a wallet, receive my Bitcoin, send my Bitcoin to someone else that can benefit or you convert that into currency and can spend it right away. This is so easy, all right? So the idea is this. We got to chase after million dollar profits. Now, then if we make so much money, what's the purpose of it all? You see, every one of you here today, you are excited to know how to make money. But I want to show you the end game. What is your end game? Holy moly. Can you write that down, end game? Because Real Trilogy is you must have a clear finishing line. If you do not have a finishing line, you're chasing and chasing. And after some time, you get tired out, you burn out. That's the reason why your end game is of utmost importance. Here we go. My end game is this, you know, back then I became a millionaire by the age of 30 years old and I was not a billionaire, I was just a millionaire. But guess what? I was challenging myself, would I be willing to give away a million dollars? And gosh, 
I was young, fast and furious, and I did give away a million dollars, all right? And this is something I want to share with you about my passion. On this picture itself, behind us, there were about 5,000 children. And next to me is Pastor Bill Wilson. He's the founder of Metro World Child. He goes around to different developing countries of the world and to really adopt the poorest of the poorest kids in the slum area, in the rubbish dump area. And I was called upon this calling. I said, hey, why don't I support you as well? Now, on the bottom left, you're looking at this beautiful logo called Kiva. Now, Kiva is an organization that supports aspiring entrepreneurs in third world countries. And you're going to make a difference. You know, you just loan them the money. I've been doing this for like the last eight years of my life. And I've helped and impacted individuals, entrepreneurs from over 75 countries. That's the joy of making money. And finally, on the bottom right, oh, bottom right, let me get rid of my picture here. <laughs> this is Stream of Praise. This is a Chinese ministry that uplifts the spirit of people through their songs and worship. And we support them. So I want to challenge you here to, today is because when you start thinking about making money, you need to allow money to circulate and flow through. Then you need to think about who you're going to benefit with the money that you make out of this market. Here we go. This is the market we are talking about. And I'm going to take you through to the last 20 years with the backdrop and hindsight retrospective view of what happened in the past 20 years. You should be ready today for the next 10 years. Easily. Here we go. I'm going to start off by sharing with you my very own journey right here. Holy moly, all right? This is like, let me position it this really nicely, all right? It started all the way in the year 2000 when I started investing. And holy moly, the very next year after I started investing, 9-11 happened. The terrorists crashed against the World Trade Center towers and boom, the building came crumbling down. And guess what? The entire stock market crashed. What the heck had just happened? And after it crashed, the Americans were all out for vengeance. And within two years, they declared war on Iraq. And they say that, oh, you know what? Saddam Hussein has the weapons of mass destruction. And together with the British troops, they invaded Iraq. But you know, history has taught us a very important lesson. They were not there for the weapons of mass destruction because they can't find any in the first place. They were there for the oil fuse. And that's Iraq war for you, 2003. I went through that period, my my mama. And by the time we recovered from the war, and by the way, 2003 is kind of deja vu. It was the same time Singapore had an outbreak of SARS. We had a first recession in my generation. Holy moly. You have a war, you have a SARS, and guess what? We pick up really fast. And the market started frying up from 2003 to 2008. And when it was at all-time high, it came crumbling down all over again. Look at the chart right now. This is the journey I went through. And I call it the presidency of George W. Bush because you need to understand the leadership of the world dictates the market direction. So you have a really poor leader in George Bush Look at the start of his presidency and look at the end of his presidency. The market went to negative zone. This is the display of poor leadership. We went through that for eight years of nightmare with George Bush, invested throughout the time. And by the time Obama came into the picture, he was picking up the mess from George Bush. He stepped right into the bottom of the market. Can you see on the extreme bottom left? That was rock bottom. But he did one very important thing, and this is the thing that's so crucial to us in our generation. In the first 100 days of President Obama, he introduced a concept known as quantitative easing, short form QE. And he signed off straight away 800 billion worth of quantitative easing. Basically, in a blunt language, he flooded the stock market with cash. So much cash. Look at the stock chart right here. In the first year, it went 70 degrees up, up and away. <laughs> By the time he ended his eight-year tenure, the stock market was on a 45-degree flight path. This is the consequence of flooding the market with money. And you see right here in front of you, 
gorgeous, gorgeous period of time. We make so much money. We tagged in with the bankers. We are investing in all kinds of financial instruments. It was easy. Why? Because any idiot can make money in a bull market. Hear it from me. Close your eyes, throw a dart, you end up in the stock that will move up. That was the era of the Obama. And we are so excited about it. I went through eight years of Bush, eight years of Obama, <laughs> holy moly. And here came the nightmare. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is the nightmare of President Donald Trump. All right, this, this guy is really a nightmare because why? The market was going up really beautifully on the first year of his presidency. And you will keep hearing me repeating the concept of first year, first year. Remember that, write that down. All right, if you can't remember that, please type it down right now into the chat and say first year. Because first year of a president is a crucial data point that we're going to exploit and make money off the market. So remember, 2017, entire year, market went up. First year of Donald Trump. Then the second year came. You know, I can still re uh, recall vividly, I was right in Silicon Valley uh, attending uh, one of the conferences there, right in the middle of the Chinese New Year. And he announced the U.S. has launched an official U.S.-China trade war. Holy mama. For the next two years, one eight, one nine, the market just went sideways. Couldn't go up, couldn't go down. So towards the end of his presidency, he was in a mad rush to boost up the stock market. And that's where he decided to take a step back, make friends with China, and the market went on an all-time high in February 2020. But guess what? The very next day, heaven knows, the world went into pandemic. COVID-19 hit town and the market crashed. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous crash right here. <laughs> I want to show you this gorgeous, gorgeous crash. This is the crash I'm talking about, all right? But the most amazing thing has happened. In less than 10 months time, the market rebounded up here. And what I just drawn in front of you is known as the V-shaped recovery. So my friends, as I'm speaking right now, the stock market is all an all-time high. Here we go. Holy moly. We are at an all-time high. We have President Joe Biden and we expect him to run for two terms, all right? Because he's flushing the market with so much money right now. Let me tell you to be exact how much money he's really throwing into the market. In total, eight trillion. Listen very carefully, eight trillion. Obama, in total, 800 billion. He did it 10 times of what Obama did, and he did it in the first 100 days of his presidency. And that's Joe Biden for you. And you know how much is 8 trillion? Let me tell you, Obama only gave out 800 billion, flooded the market for eight years, market went on a 45 degree up, up and away. This guy came out with 10 times more in his first 100 days. And today, my friends, I'm so excited to share this with you. Today, we are officially right smack in the middle of the first year of Joe Biden's presidency. How many of you are really excited right now? Hey, wave your hand! <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> and this is what got me excited because we are right now taking a very close look of his presidency. And if you look at his presidency over here, holy mama, oi! How come there's a China flag? And it's appearing right in the year 2029. You want to write that down on the chat, document it in your memory. 2029 is the year, and every Wall Street pundit is predicting that China shall emerge as global leader number one. But more importantly, below the flag of China, you're looking at a very beautiful coin. <laughs> and that's called Bitcoin. I want you to take a step back and imagine from 2021 this year, fast forward to 2029, which is eight years to be exact. Here we go. What do you think is the price of Bitcoin? We're going to 
expound on this idea in our presentation here today and I want you to hang on tight. So, I'm going to ask you a very powerful question. Are you ready? Show me in the chat right now. Woo! <laughs> I'm looking at me, Ethan, Vera, Lou, Jeffrey. Awesome, awesome. Ellen, cool. Mary, Vincent, Suresh. Awesome. So if you say you're truly, truly ready, here we go. Step one. My friends, I want you to know in order for you to be ready to seize this advantage, seize this massive window of opportunity in the first year of Joe Biden, you got to master three important words right here today. And I want you to write it down in your secret little black book. The first word is right here. And that is cozy. Cozy is a very, very important word. You need to distinguish which are the instruments you're going to focus on because the moment you get distracted, and let me share with you, I taught over 50,000 students. I trained PhDs, scientists, actuaries, accountants, engineers, lawyers, doctors, whatever. Oftentimes, I found those who are successful are the ones that stay focused on the instrument. The ones that are performing badly, they got distracted all the time, running around in circles. And I'm going to give you the clarity right here today. Here we go. C. It stands for cryptocurrency. If you are not involved in cryptocurrency today, you are out of the game. Because 10 years from now, they're going to dominate the world. O. Stands for options trading. If you do not know how to leverage an instrument that gives you 10 times more profits, then you are out of the game. S. Stands for stocks. This is the foundation of wealth. Mama, if you are not investing in the stock market, you are completely out. <laughs> and why? It says, yes. Yes, I'm committed. Yes, I'm focused. Yes, I shall not be distracted. I'm going to focus on these three instruments to make my first part of wealth. How many of you agree with me? Wave your hands right now. Whoa! And my job is to help you stay focused. I'm your coach. Most of my students call me the teacher. <laughs> and you know what? If you can stay focused on these three instruments, I'm going to prepare you for the next important journey, which is right here. I'm going to prepare you for this powerful word here called war. Holy moly. W-A-R. What exactly is war? And if you do not have the war mindset again, you are taken out of the market. Taken down. That's it. Gone. Game over. Period. Gone. Let's start with the bill. The bill stands for a wow event. Wow. That means to say anything that you invest in, if it doesn't have a wow event, it cannot move the price. And why are you investing in it? The A that follows stands for announcement date. Now, if you have a wild event but doesn't have an announcement date, again, you are stuck. You do not have a finishing line. You do not know where the price prediction is going to happen. And that's the reason why you need to have an announcement date. R stands for recurring. This is the most important. If the event doesn't keep recurring, you cannot keep making consistent money out of it. It's just like, What's the big deal if you discover a diamond stone in the middle of a land? No, that's like once in a million years. But if you can discover diamonds every month, holy moly, you're in this for the lifetime ride. That's the reason why the instruments, we are focused, but the strategy is all about thinking about war. Here we go. The third word that you're going to write home today and that's money for you. F-I-A-T stands for fiat. This is really, really crucial. You know, you, you are here to learn how to make money. And I just speak to you like my friends right here. And I want to give you the proper understanding. What does F stands for? It stands for fundamental analysis. But I'm going to show you the mother of all matrices. Because if you do the pure hardcore fundamental analysis, 
There are over 300 metrics that you need to master. Let me give you the mother of all metrics. How's that? Wave your hand. Oh! <laughs> And that's the, the killer, killer metric, all right? So once you have F, I stands for Insider Trading Analysis. I'm going to show you how the rich people make money and how you're going to make money off the rich people. And thereby, you are going to be the David fighting alongside with the Goliath. You don't have to kill the Goliath. You're going to be with them. They will shoot off all the bullets for you. You just stand behind them and make all the money. We're going to twist the whole idea around and show you what exactly is insider trading. Next, A. A stands for alerts. Because if you are not alerted about the information that's shaping the price, then again, you're caught up. I'm going to show you what it means to look for the ultimate reason. Finally, T stands for technical analysis. This again, my friends, you know, there are like 200 over Japanese candlestick patterns. Double head, double bottom head and shoulder, doji, inverted cross, red line cross, blue line, blue line cross, green line, whatever lines. I will show you one single technical analysis that will show you all the money of planet Earth, the insider's money. This is the concept of FIAT. And ladies and gentlemen, you have mastered right now the core foundational thinking of wealth, starting with cozy, war, and fiat. But most importantly, what you really want to learn from me today is, hey teacher, how did all this idea birth into you? Where do you learn from? How did it all start for you? What inspired you? What made you want to become a millionaire by 30 years old? How many of you are thinking about these questions? Can you just show me on, on the chair so that I can recognize your name? How many of you are thinking about all these questions that I just asked myself? <laughs> if you're thinking about it, please say yes. Holy moly. Woo! Come on! <laughs>it's great all of you are thinking about this i see cool i see suresh i see kelvin adam Mac macquid you are thinking about it because if you are not thinking about it the idea can't even birth out of you i want to share with you how it all started for me you know at a point in time when i was in nanyang technological university as an university undergraduate you know i was thinking about my life okay clement what do you want to do with your life and I asked myself this question over and over and over again. And sometimes, you know, it's like you look around at your friends and they already know what they want to do, but you're kind of lost. I was in that stage back then. And I needed a, a challenge in my life that, you know, like drive me crazy, so focused as an individual. And I want to get into the state of excellence. And you know what? Suddenly, I chanced upon the idea. I say, okay. Everybody want to make something out of their life meaningful. Why don't I do this? I want to learn how to be rich. So that when I have money in the world, I have more choices that have the freedom of time. And there you go. I set for myself a very, very crazy goal. Uh, what we call a big, hairy, audacious goal. I want to become a millionaire by the age of 30 years old. But because I stated this goal down, Thereby, all the answers start to flood my life. And it all started from the billionaires of the world. And that's the reason why I want to show you this picture here. Today, this is a core product of Spiking. We started off with this product called the best of the best top 100. And back then, my thinking was, if I want to be rich, then jolly well, let me nail down the richest of them all. The top 100 billboard charts, I call it. <laughs> and I have nailed down Warren Buffett, George Soros, Bill Gates, uh, Bill Eggman, Ray Dalio, Nick Schumer, James Simmons. I got all these people. And next, I ask myself, what do I want to do with them? Very simple. It's called modeling the success of the richest guys on planet Earth. I read books about them, I studied their strategies, I reverse engineered their strategies, and then I found, holy moly, a very, very important question that sparked, spiked off 
every of the inspiration I have in the product thinking, it all started with this question. Will it spike? Will it spike is a concept whereby if I can get in today before the stock price starts to move, then jolly well, I'll make a lot of money. And it's also related to the idea of time squeeze. How do I make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time? Today, I'm going to show you how this is all been executed, how is all this been perfected, simply because I asked the right question back then. And with this introduction, we went all out to build great products, starting with number one, on the left, daily bread. Daily bread literally means every day we need to eat something, right? <laughs> and we created a product whereby every day you're going to find companies that's going to spike up and you can make money off them on a daily basis. On the right, you have Resurrection. Now, Resurrection, I'm going to change my channel right over here. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend here, and this is Bobby. Bobby is my buddy that allows me to study every part of his body, whatever illnesses, diseases, the sickness that he has, and that's the concept of Resurrection. I'm investing into drug manufacturers. Those are finding the cure for the vaccines. And all these problems with lung cancer, lymphoma, cancer, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, mental health breakdown issues, everything. Because I'm killing three birds with one stone. Number one, I'm doing good. Number two, I'm saving lives. And number three, I make money. That's the reason why we created a product called Resurrection, whereby we focus solely on drug manufacturing companies that's going to make changes in on planet earth i'm going to introduce to you a few of them and in fact you can take right 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 away the action that you want the next one is really crazy 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 i call it triangulation holy moly triangulation is the most powerful product we ever created because my friends we are triangulating three data points look at my hands right now most of you are not acquainted with the idea of like billionaires, and it's like, you say, hey, billionaires is like so far away, how do I reach them? Hold on, hold your horses, pull back, come back to planet Earth. I want to show you the best of the insiders, we call them the universe of insiders. Who are these people? BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard. Each of them commanded more than $1 trillion asset under their management for them to deploy and invest in the stock market. Then you have sovereign wealth funds. Who are the sovereign wealth funds? Close to home, Singapore, you have the Masi, Singapore GIC. Next to our neighbor, we have Kazana. And we have all these sovereign wealth funds representing the country's wealth. We are tracking them right now. Next, we are looking at billionaires. Who are the billionaires? Warren Buffett, George Soros, Bill Eggman, Carl Icahn. Every one of them, I'm pleased to share with you Ladies and gentlemen, they are in our radar right now. Whatever they buy or sell, we do this thing called triangulation. That means to say, if the Masse is buying, and the Hong Kong richest man Li ka is buying, and James Siemens, who is a, James Siemens, who is a mathematician, is buying, three of them all believe in the same idea. Holy moly, let's go in together for the kill. That's how we make money. i shown you triangulation. Starting from one day, we spread out to one month. One month, we spread out to one quarter. Holy moly. Right now, we're going to spread out to one year. And I emphasize on the time. Because every one of you, as I look into your faces, I know you have unique time threshold. Some of you can manage your fear and greed in one year. Some of you cannot even manage your fear and greed in one day. So the concept of time becomes very very important and that's the reason why ladies and gentlemen i present to you the greatest of all time g-o-a-t good and when you define a good you must have a very clear team t-h-e-m-e -E. what is the team that you're looking at check this out ladies and gentlemen these are the best right now for the next five years that you're going to make 10 times money out of each and every single one of them the first row is defined as the team of electric vehicle. 
This is here to change. Five years from now, let me tell you, that is the new era we are living in. Everybody will, will be on electric vehicle. I just did my test drive of a Tesla <laughs> last week, all right? Let me tell you, if you have not seen my YouTube video on it, it was like, whoa! <laughs> the G-Force is killing you. It doesn't slow down, it's just all the way through. There's no gear one, gear two, gear three. No, it just go all the way through. The second row I'm looking at is called a 5G. As you know, the consumption of data becomes heavier and heavier. We want to download everything faster, faster, faster. 5G fulfills the need. Next row, semiconductor chips. Are you even aware of the fact that globally, there's a big shortage of semiconductor chips? If you invest them right now, let me tell you, 10 years from now, it's still in demand. <laughs> Last row, FDA, pharmaceutical companies. And do you know that there are five brand names I put over there? Out of five, three of them, Warren Buffett invested in it just last year together with us. How exciting about that. Next, we're going to look at crazy, crazy companies like Apple and Uber because we are all betting for the pandemic recovery. The market is opening up. And of course, on the right, we are looking at crazy, crazy right over here. Companies like Binance, Coinbase, Roblox. What has this got to do with the whole investment thesis? This is the part I come in as your coach to guide you along the way. So we started from one day, one month, one quarter, one year. And here we go. We arrive at one lifetime. Let me present to you YOLO. You only live once. And for this, you got to be invested in Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are not invested in Bitcoin, no worries. I'm going to give up Bitcoins today, all right? So for those of you hanging out all through, through to the end of my presentation, you're going to get Bitcoin from me. I'm going to tell you how to go about receiving it. And finally, we arrive at the Greek generations. It's not just about lifetime. It's about changing the life destiny of the three generations after us. You see, I'm generation number one. My children are defined as generation number two. My grandchildren is defined as generation number three. And I'm going to teach you the concept of greed because in one single decision, how many of you today, in one single decision, you can shape the financial destinies of your three generations? How many of you are agreeable on that? Please type in yes right now in the chat. Go, 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 go. I want to see that. Woo! <laughs> and once you set that down and say yes, Today, I have what it takes to change the destiny of my three generations and forevermore. Then, I want to present to you this word called greed. Greed clearly defines that it's not because of your higher intelligence quotient, known as IQ. It is also not defined as your higher emotional quotient, known as EQ. Greed is defined by perseverance and passion if you do not have these two elements no matter how smart you are you cannot achieve the kind of success we are talking right here today here we go ladies and gentlemen i present to you the wealth trilogy and on the backdrop of it all this is the part i got really really excited about check this out dun, 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 dun. what exactly is a spike I briefly mentioned about time squeeze. I briefly mentioned about getting in before the stock price move. I briefly challenged you to think about how to make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. <laughs> how do you actually do that? Check this out. Step one. The stock price is trading at $15 today. You're going to buy $15 per share. Step two. The very next day, the stock price spike up to $45 a share. You step two, you get out to sell. And the profit that you make, $30 pure profit, 
divided by your cost of your investment, 15%. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just made a pure 200% profit return. For how long? One day. Can you please type down one day? Go, 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 go! <laughs> Woo one day, mama! <laughs> Now this is the part I need to slow down a little bit. Some of you are thinking, hey, this teacher has gone crazy already. <laughs> Maybe this is like once in a million years that you make a 200% profit return in one day. I want to show you, ladies and gentlemen, this is happening every day. Not one day, it's every day. Here we go. Before I present to you the market information, I want you to know everything that we built upon is designed based on the spiking strategies. From one day daily bread, to one month resurrection, to one quarter triangulation, to one year goat, to one lifetime YOLO, and then of course, the most powerful of them all is the top 100. Check this out. These are your top 100. And I've been working on them for the last 20 years of my life. I call it the Holy Grail, the pursuit of the Holy Grail. And I want to introduce to you three friends today. Number one, friend number one, Mr. Warren Buffett, old friend of ours, loves to drink cherry coke, and he's still alive today. <laughs> but he is managing her my holy moly. $263 billion asset under management. And how data is able to show you that at any single point in time, what a company is buying, what a company is selling. This is insider trading. Number two, second guy I want to introduce to you, for those of you who love math, I know there are many engineers right here today. This is a mathematician, a genius, a prodigy. He applied his foundational knowledge from tertiary education, applied into the stock market. He is managing $94 billion today. And I'm going to show you how to do that because every single thing that he's buying and selling is on our radar. He just increased 1,062 companies, decreased 1,553 companies. He sold off 457 companies. He bought Virgin New Companies, 505 companies. Holy moly, everything we got it. Number three. This guy is called the Godfather. Can you, some of you, please type Godfather right now? And I try to find a Godfather song for you. Thank you so much. I see Nikolai, I see Michael, Amori, Mohammed, Kelvin, Kalesha. You know, when you engage with me, you are taking maximum value out of today's program. And I want to congratulate you. You're going to lock that down in your memory. While the rest of you are not taking action, not writing down in your black book, not chatting with me. Holy moly, good luck to you. <laughs> this guy, every single trade on planet Earth, 50% of the trades have to go through his company called Citadel. He is the boss of Citadel. Literally, he has that powerful AI eyes to spot every single trade that passing through his firm because he commands 50% of the world's trades. He knows where are the hot money. That's the reason why we are tracking him. Don't waste time. Why track the rest? Track this guy enough already, <laughs> right? Because this guy knows where all the money are flowing. And with this, we call this the top 100 best. I just introduced to you three of them. There are hundreds of them. These are the best of the best. If you do not know who are they, then how can you formulate a strategy to make money? You need to crowdsource your thinking to the best 100. Not to one guy or two guys or three guys, to 100. And by the way, we have all of the insiders in our radar. Here we go. What are spiking? You think about the 200% profit return, you say, oh, that's too incredible. Let me show you. This is the month of January. Companies are spiking 82.6% profit, 82.6% in the stock price movement 
in one day. 68.9% in one day. 48.5% in one day. 45.2% in one day. 37.4% in one day. How about in the month of February? Here we go. February, 221% in one day. 178% in one day. Here we go. 59.5% in one day. Holy mama. How about March? Here we go. 95.2% in one day. 71.6% in one day. 27.4% in one day. <laughs> Are you still having fun so far? <laughs> I showed you all this to just to tell you that the only market on planet Earth that can give you that kind of stock price movement in one day, ladies and gentlemen, that's called the United States of America. And this phenomenon will never ever happen in your domestic market, like Singapore Exchange. If you move 5% of the stock price, they invite you for a tea session. <laughs> like Bursa Malaysia, like Hong Kong Exchange, Australia Security Exchange. No other domestic market is able to move that kind of percentage I'm talking about right here. That's why your selection of market is an important single most important strategy. You go in the wrong market, no matter how hard you pray, nothing is going to happen. Let me tell you, all right? You need to be in the right market. And today, I'm presenting to you the 8 trillion stimulus market that's USA. Here we go. I'm going to show you daily bread. So daily bread is a product that every night we just go into the software and on the software, we just say, hey, Mr. Robot, tell me which are the companies we can play tonight? It's just a simple question like this, all right? And but from the simple question, we're going to do something really, really crazy. Here we go. We have the mother of all metrics. This is what I call the net positive purchase. Now, what exactly does net positive purchase represent? You know, every day, every month, every quarter, there are insiders who are buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling, right? So you will come to a point in time when they are buying and selling, I want to know what's the net net effect. Are there more buying versus selling? Now, if there are more buying versus selling, that is called a positive, net positive purchase. And when I switch back to this screen, it also means that in this particular company, Concentrix, the net positive purchase, 3.7 billion. Do you know what that means? It means 3.7 million, billion, sorry, billion, squeezed into the stock over a three months period. That's the equivalent of 1 billion per month. The price cannot move. I'm telling you, it will definitely move because this is called momentum. That's the reason why we have to look at the right metrics. And I present to you the insider trading metrics. We call it the net positive purchase. Here we go. Next, we are looking at this product called Resurrection. From one day, we stretch to one month. Now, what exactly is Resurrection? Again, I start from this very, very important row right here. We call it the net positive purchase. And if you are looking at a crazy company like Eli Lilly, holy moly, how the heck they got $7.8 billion of net purchase? $7.8 billion. Now, if you don't have this number, you wouldn't have the motivation, the passion, the inquisitiveness to go and pursue what exactly does Eli Lilly does? Let me give you an answer. They are at the forefront of finding a cure for Parkinson's disease, for Alzheimer's disease, for diseases that relate to mental health. Where right now, when I look at the screen right here, most of you are also suffering from some form of mental health issue. <laughs> you are giving me a suicidal look. Hey! <laughs> So Eli Lilly right here is solving a real, global, real, real, real problem. And that's why insiders are backing them up. They are giving them more money. Net purchase, $7.8 in one quarter. Holy moly. With that, 
and you're gonna see this whole chunk of information that's gonna drive you like crazy crazy check this out remember about the concept of war w-a-r first you must have a wow event second you must have an announcement date Third, it must keep recurring so that you can keep making money, making money, making money. This is what I'm presenting to you right here. Every single one of the stock that we have, we put them on the wall path. We know what's the wow event. We know the announcement date. And we know it keep recurring. That's the reason why we can consistently milk from the great companies out there. Here we go. Third concept. One man stretch to one. From one day stretch to one month, one month stretch to one quarter, I present to you triangulation. Look for it yourself. This is Micron. How come they receive 1.4 billion net purchase? Because everybody knows right now, semiconductor chips are in shortages. This is the mother of all chips, right? So everybody backing on Micron right here. Another example right over here. How about Carnival Corp? Now this one, you got to look at it with a twisted mind. And that's the reason why it is important for you to complete the four steps. F-I-A-T. <claps> Carnival Corp is the mother of all cruises. All these cruises, cruise to nowhere, cruise to Asia, cruise to Africa, cruise to whatever. This is the main company. Now, you and I know that COVID-19 is spreading everywhere. Why would insiders bet on Carnival Corp with 1.7 billion net positive purchase? The answer is simple. They are betting that the economy is going to open up soon. But does it mean all their bets are going to be correct? No. <laughs> because they forgot the fact that there's a mutation of the variants. As a result, right now we are entering the lockdown all over again. So that's the reason why you cannot just look at one matrix. You've got to study FIAT. Next example over here. Chow Swap. Holy moly. This is the mother of all trading. All right. Let me tell you this. This has received $8.3 billion. Why? Because the moment Donald Trump and Joe Biden announced the stimulus plan, they start sending off like checks after checks to ordinary Americans. Step one, what do they do with the checks that they receive in their mailbox? Step one, they put money into child swap. Step two, they went to buy the stocks. Step three, they sell the stocks. They make money. That's it. <laughs> so you got to understand what is the season right now that's driving all these crazy stock prices. And with that, let me ask you the critical question. How many of you want to make money? Say yes! <laughs> Woo! But the question is, how much money? Because if you set up the wrong expectation, you messed up your game plan again. So can you very quickly fire up right now to the chat? I want you to see you're committed right here, right here. Be very, very committed. 10x, come on. 10x, hey. Come on, have a high expectation, 10x. By the way, what's the meaning of 10x? Mathematically, it means 1,000%. And 1,000%, is it achievable? Tonight, you're going to have a biggest breakthrough in your thinking about wealth. I'm going to show you how ordinary people can make 1,000%. And once you can see that, bam, it gets into you. Because you realize that, holy moly, how come I've been missing out on all this fun right here? Here we go. The most critical question that I believe is Wandering off your minds is the question of when to enter and when to exit. How many of you are thinking about this question? Wave your hands right now. I want to see you wave your hands. Wave your hands. When to enter and when to exit. This is very, very important. But this question is important to who? Let me slow down right now. The timing of when to enter and when to exit. And I ask you, is this an important question? All of you wave your hand and say yes. But let me ask you a deeper question. The timing is important to who? 
Let me give you a straight off the cuff answer. Timing is extremely important to ordinary folks out there, including you and I. Because you don't sit around and wait for things to happen. You need things to happen right now. Now, the timing is not important to who? Let me give you the clearest definition. The billionaires, the sovereign wealth funds, they don't care about timing because they have all the time to wait because they have already been there, done that, up there on the pyramid. But you are right now starting at the beginning. You are slogging your ass, trying to get up there to become a millionaire. But while you are pursuing your dream to become a millionaire, you know what? Along the way, there are surprises. There are medical expenses that you need to pay off. There are school fees you need to pay off. There are somebody's just fallen sick you need to pay off. You need to buy a car, buy a house, buy this, buy that. And you got no much money left. That's why timing is critical to you. But today, if you're a millionaire, I will teach you a different set of strategies. I work with my bankers. We call it pre wealth preservation, wealth legacy. You know, my three generations are already taken care of. I have the freedom of choice. Every year I'm paid till the day I'm died, till the day I go heaven. And by the time I go heaven, my children, next generation number two, they will be paid every year till the day they go to heaven. By the time they go to heaven, generation number three, they will inherit a lump sum cash. And they continue to get paid every year till the day they go to heaven and pass on to the future generations. This is wealth legacy. And that's the reason why, my friends, timing becomes critical to you. You can't afford to wait long, long. You need to get it up right now. And that's why most people live in a delusionment, thinking they can take 30 years to become a millionaire too long. Because along the way, many distractions, many, many surprises along the way. Here we go. As a result, we created a strategy based on time frame. One day, so that every day you got to do something. One month, so every month you got to do something to save lives. One quarter, so every quarter you're trading with the best insiders on planet Earth. One year, help you stay focused to reach your 10x dream. Not only that, one lifetime, YOLO, this is the one you only live once. And finally, the top 100 is a one decade strategy. How many of you ever heard of a billionaire or a millionaire reach that top there and next day they are pauper? And then next day they become millionaire, next year become billionaire, and then next year they drop on become a pauper again. No, once they are there, they are consistently up there because they already got it. So my job is right now to kick your ass to move you up there. How many of you want to be kick ass? Come on! <laughs> Holy mama! Let me start off with YOLO right now to dive a little bit deeper because when I start talking about one lifetime, some of you start to give me that very strange look on the camera. <laughs> what do you mean by one lifetime? What do you mean by you only live once? Here we go! Welcome back. What I just shown you is a very limited collection of the only Bitcoin watch in the world. And in this particular co collection, there are about 100 pieces on planet Earth. We snap out 12 of them. Me and my group of buddies who are crazy about cryptos, and we make a, like a lifetime alliance. Okay, we're going to be the kind of like the wheels of the market, and we're going to stick to our core belief that we're going to drive the price all the way up to the moon. 
And then in order to live to the commitment, all of us got to wear one Bitcoin watch. <laughs> but what exactly is Bitcoin all about? I want to show you, it started from here. This is exactly one year ago. 12th of May, 2020. I invited all of our students, all of our customers, and we say, hey, come on board. Let me show you, the teacher show you how to trade Bitcoin. Because back then, the concept was very, very new to them. I say, I've been there, done that. Let me show you how this is done. So and then I, I you know, give them the confidence to invest. I put in a quarter million dollars to buy Bitcoin. And those, who, those of them, those, those who followed me and bought Bitcoin with me, guess what? They're sitting between seven to eight times profit return. This is like 700% to 800%. Today, right now, Bitcoin dropped back to about 50,000. It reached a very, really nice fair price right now. And you know what? We are not selling. We're going to go all the way to 100,000. <laughs> this is how crazy we are. We are a bunch of crazy, crazy, crazy Bitcoin cryptos, all right? So I want to show you about this because the whole idea of Bitcoin started from this crazy guy who bought 1.5 billion and right now he announced to the world he's not betting on Bitcoin anymore. Aha! Uh -huh. You see, somebody who just believe in Bitcoin right now gone to the dark side. He said, I don't believe in Bitcoin anymore. This is what's going to happen. This is a golden opportunity for us to think about what he's talking about. And then this is another guy who put in $2.2 .2 billion just to buy into Bitcoin. And he's still buying every month. So you got all these different ideas out there challenging the thesis of Bitcoin. But what is really important is this. I want you to go and search for the number one bank on planet Earth. That's called DBS. Type in DBS cryptocurrency. And what kind of news appear this week? You will see that they are offering cryptocurrency to their private banking clients, the richest of the rich. And by the way, if the rich guys already go in, you as the ordinary guy, you got no more chance to play. That's why I keep telling you, your window right now is very small. You got to get in before the rich guys get in. This is the whole idea of Bitcoin. And then I show you this crazy picture. Holy moly, the race to a trillion market capitalization. And you will look at all the great companies starting from Apple. And we, when we are looking at Apple, it took 42 years to reach a trillion dollar market cap. Saudi Arabia and Ramco, 86 years. But these guys are sitting on oil fields all over their, their ass. But they are already gifted. Don't ever have a look at Saudi Arabia. Let's jump. Look at Microsoft. 44 years to hit a trillion market cap. Amazon, 24 years. Google, 22 years. And holy moly, the kid, the new kid on the block. 12 years. How the heck a coin can hit a trillion dollar market cap in 12 years? You ask me, and you look at this, there's no other brand, product or service that can hit a trillion dollar market cap in 12 years time. Meaning to say, there are enough smart people out there who already seize upon this opportunity. Now you are going to decide, are you going to be an early mover or the late lag laggers. The late laggers will always be the last guy. And that's the reason why I'm going to give you a very short window of opportunity right here tonight. I, I really love the responses right here from the audience. How many of you want to hear about this golden window of opportunity? And if you hear about it, you're going to promise to take action. You're going to fire off and commit into the chat and say, Yes! I'm going to take action! Woo! <laughs> Woohoo! I see your name! I see your name! Albert, Ed, Fikri, Lily, Joel, Zareb, Lo, Christopher, Biel, Yo, Ivan! Woo! I see your names! And here we go. Ready? Today we are in the month of uh, May, June. Half of the year has already passed. By February next year, 2022, China will have officially completed the Beijing Winter Olympics. And that is the two-week period they'll officially launch the China 
digital yuan currency. Now, what that means is over a single night, more than a billion population in the land of China, they are going to have a digital wallet. They are educated for free. They are forced to use the coin. And that means every one of them going to squeeze into the world of Bitcoin. You have this very short opportunity. You want to get in first before the rest of the world gets in. That's the idea of Bitcoin because it has a limited supply of 21 million coins. That is the window you're looking at. Not much time left. That's why we call it You Only Live Once. Here we go! <laughs> now we arrive at good. Greatest of all time. We are going to look at a time frame of one year. This is really, really exciting stuff. Let's start off with the idea of 5G. Data is the new oil. 5G is the pipeline. What a brilliant statement. And from here, we're going to show you which are the crazy, crazy companies. All right? Right on this. Ladies and gentlemen, you have T-Mobile and Verizon and you have two godfathers dominating the 5G market. T-Mobile is from SoftBank Masayoshi Sang. Verizon is by our good old grandfather, Mr. Warren Buffett. <laughs> all right. And they have doubled down onto this space. And all other companies I put here in the list in front of you, they are critical components for us to deliver 5G. That's the reason why they'll deliver 10x in five years' time. Next, we're going to look at right here, semiconductor chips. And you see the characters in red, that means China. Chong Guo. 70% of the semiconductor chips will be made in China by the time we hit 2025. You know what that means? They're going to take over the world of semiconductor chips. And that represents unprecedented opportunities for these five companies. On the bottom left, the Taiwan Semiconductor Company. And right in the middle, you have Intel. Bottom right, you have Micron. And on the top left, AMD. The only guy that can produce the smallest nanometer in semiconductor chip. There you have AMD. And that's the reason why when you look at all these crazy companies, they'll deliver for you 10x in five years' time. Next, right over here, drugs approval will accelerate by the time we hit 2025. You know what? This is the one that got me really excited. Because when I present the stocks right here, this and this and this got invested by Warren Buffett. One shot, one kill. And he has been doubling down every quarter. But the most powerful of all these five companies, let me tell you who is it. That's this guy here called Moderna. And, you know, I want to share with you my experience with Moderna because all it happened in my Harvard Business School class this year. In the very last day of the, for this year term, you know, the Harvard Business School professors invited Stephen Bansell. That's the CEO of Moderna right here, this man. And he spoke for about two hours. You know what? My God. He explained to us what messenger RNA literally means. It all started because of him and one engineer believed in the idea of AI. And together, two-man team, they say, let's solve the problem of AI in the field of pharmaceutical drugs. And it started working. Two-man team. Next thing happened, COVID-19 descended down on planet Earth. And because of their work on artificial intelligence, they were among the first to present to Dr. Fauci. Hey, Dr. Fauci, we got a cure. And that's why the government awarded them $1 billion contract to spearhead using AI to solve and to deliver the vaccination for COVID-19. They'd been there, done that. And my God, can I show you my left hand? <laughs> I got injected with Moderna. And tomorrow, I'm going for my second shot because I believe in it. And he started off by sharing with us about the whole technology and then he inspired us. Hey guys, you're yeah, from Harvard Business School. If you're not into AI, you'll be obsolete 10 years from now. And that's the same message I'm going to give you here tonight. 
For spiking, we already stepped into the AI field. We're using robots to track the insiders. But more importantly, we still focus on creating great products like electric vehicle for you. 25% of electric vehicles sold annually will be sold annually by the time we hit 2025 in China alone. By the way, for EV, you don't have to look elsewhere. Look at China. Because they are so huge. And they have so little obstacles because you know why? Let me give you a very powerful word. Ready? Why China, Chinese, can move faster than USA Americans? Let me give you one word. Please prepare your pen and paper and re prepare to fire off in the chat. Three, two, one. Because the Chinese are communists. <laughs> You see, the communists get things done. They don't talk about freedom of speech. They don't talk about democracy. They just say the emperor says this, you get it done. That's it. <laughs> That's why they move so freaking fast, all right? Most of the foreigners, expatriates, they don't understand the concept of Chinese in China. So I want you to know this is mega, mega huge mama. Holy mama. And I present to you four of the biggest brand right here in china for electric vehicle on the left li xiang next new tesla followed by xpeng but the hidden jewel among them all is actually the conductivity of electricity i present to you freeport mcmoran ticker symbol fcx I've been preaching about FCX like since early this year and <laughs> my, my God, right now you hit on an all time high. All right. Our students and our customers, they love it so much. They make money out of it. And that's the reason why you have to develop a very powerful team. T-H-E-M-E. -E, what we designed as a one year journey, milk this guy dry. Here we go. Did we make money from this four guys? Of course we made money. S Pen, Tesla, Li Xiang Niu, we sold make money. Did we make money from SCX? Yes, we make $3,585. We make money. We push all of you. Push really hard. Go, 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 go. Start trading. And you know, recently I've been watching lots of people talking about Tesla, but Look at the guy who been there, done that. I've been involved with Tesla since 2016, where I placed a reservation of the car. And how early can you get than that? So 2016, in pure blind faith, I booked a $1,000 booking for Tesla car. No idea when it will be delivered, when, no idea when it will be uh, 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 manufactured for Singapore market. But guess what? It finally arrived this year. And it was announced exactly on my birthday. I guess they know about my birthday, right? So by the time in July, I'll be the first batch of Singaporeans to drive a brand new Tesla here on our roads. So this is really exciting. We got our community involved and say, hey, come, let's buy the car together. And together, we collectively decided on, uh, I think they wanted me to buy performance, buy the red exterior, buy a white interior. And four steps done, the car was bought. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna organize for our community to do a test drive on my car. Holy moly. Here we go. Who want to make money? Woo! <laughs> Let me tell you about my good friend. Are you able to see my the fat ass friend I have right here sleeping away while I'm having fun right here? <laughs> this is my pandemic cat, all right? He's been with me since the first lockdown. And you know, I, I'm just so, uh, so blessed to have uh, my good friend Tabby with me. And he's just watching me every day and I feel so loved. And I want to encourage you, you know, go and keep a pet, go and nurture a plant, go and keep some fishes. Just be alive because for the next one month, all of us will be on lockdown all over again. <laughs> but you got to keep your spirits really up and energized. Here we go. We know about 10x. But the 10x is how do we go about achieving it? This is the big, big question. Before we do that, here we go. Woo! 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Start. Start. 
two, one, boost ignition, and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. And you must start off believing in it first. <laughs>